So, while this print is still printing, and before it gets done, I figured I'd go ahead and maybe show some of uh, the build I had done while I was uh, trying to design and figure out how to make this stupid thing. So this is kind of some of this stuff I did in the 3D software, C4D, just to see if it might work, maybe. And um, I was kind of a pain in the butt. I found these two remotes online that, um, you know, I went to this website called Turbo Squid. And, you know, I think I spent like 20 bucks and I got like uh, the Apple TV remote and my Harmony Express remote. They didn't match the exact specs, so I had to kind of tweak them so I could use them as a guide when I was building the case around them. Because initially when they came, they were kind of too fat or, and didn't quite match up. So if I built the case for that, those things, they wouldn't have, wouldn't have worked. So anyway, but yeah, super sped up version of kind of building, building the model of the case. Um, I figured since I'm wasting time printing these things, because the print's taken like, I don't know, 17 hours, which isn't bad really. The cheap printer I bought, which was only 250 bucks, does, does a great job. It prints one full layer at a time, so it's actually kind of fast. But still, 15 hours is a long time, and I can't wait for the next one to come. But, so yeah, I'm just kind of, kind of experimenting and seeing how, uh, you know, kind of looking at the model, seeing if it might work. A little tough designing, for me anyway, while building in the 3D world. Because I'm like, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna work, it's not gonna work. Like, is this how I can do a button? I don't have any idea.